Hello there, Penguins Penguin Army. My name is Trevor, and welcome to the WWE Weekly Round. First and foremost, I do apologise. This video's come out quite late. It's quite frustrating to say it's for Raw and SmackDown before WrestleMania. And now I'm sure this is going to be slotted in on a Sunday. However, most videos will go out on a Thursday. I just made a mistake and totally ran out of time this week. So I do apologise for that. Um, so let's start off with, as we always do, with a Monday Night Raw, the Go Home Show before WrestleMania. Uh, we'll start off with Ronda Rousey, Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch going off, taking off in handcuffs. Um, having defeated the right squad via submission, but they had all flared up in tensions. It was a really good segment, obviously, Flair caught Rousey running knee to the face, and that was a great day for me. Um, I, this is obviously going to be a bit of a rush episode, so please. You know, this isn't going to be the best episode. I apologise, sir. Seth Rollins turned tall over Brock Lesnar. This concerns me. It's a great segment. I like to see Brock Lesnar getting his ass whooped. But it does concern me because of WWE. This means Brock Lesnar's going to win. And um, we don't want that, do we? But a C-plus segment because, you know, it was alright. Batista did a good promo on Triple H about how he won. It was simple, brilliant and effective, quite frankly. Um, and Russ and Raw, we had to plug Grizz to be in Jinder Mahal, uh, Pinfall, we had Sasha Banks Bailey beat Natalia and Nia Natalia and about Phoenix to be the Iconics and Nia Jax and Tamina Snuka. Uh, Royal Tag Team Championship the Revival defeated Ricochet and Alistair Black, which means the Revival is in the championship of WrestleMania. Drew McIntyre laid out Roman Reigns. Heavy Machinery defeated the glorious duo of Bobby Roode and Chad Gable. Uh, Braun Strowman defeated unnamed enhancement talent, so you know, that was going to. And we've got a confirmed Finn Balor Demon. Kurt Angle, in a really emotional segment, said goodbye to Monday Night Raw. And Baron Corbin defeated a lame Mysterio uh, via pinfall, but injured him. Damn it, Baron Corbin. Alright, let's move on to SmackDown. Kofi Kingston, Daniel Bryan, make it official with the contract signing. Kofi Kingston, please win the championship. That would be a great WrestleMania story. Uh, that was a really good segment. A for that. Randy Orton and AJ Styles got very personal on the Kevin Owens show. It was a very good segment. A minus. On SmackDown, Usos, Ricochet, and Alice Black defeated Rusev and Akabora at the bar. And the Iconics did a promo. The Miz defeated Santi in a 3 one handicap. It's so sad to see how Santi had fallen. One final Becky Lynch promo. Um, the Hardy Boys, Heaven Machinery, r True, Fasca, Naomi, Nikki Cross... Carmella versus Andrade, the Good Brothers, EC3, Shelton, Benjamin, Lana, Mandy Rose, Sonja Deville, and Zilla Manning all ended in no contest. 18 man tag, 18 man is a person, really. It was called off when Chaos broke off, which. But it all ended with Asuka standing to, which. Be good. And Samoa Joe defeated Mustafa Ali, uh, which is kind of what we really want to see. Now, this is going to be a quick life. Straight through that. Uh, so we might as well talk a bit about NXT TakeOver, which happened last night, which I'm feeling a little bit worse away after having watched it. Um, yeah, it was alright, actually. It was a bit disappointing to see Pete Dunne lose his title. If I can do get that title, Pete Dunne, that's the way to do it. Fair play. A great match between Adam Cole and Johnny Gagano in a two-hour one three fours, and then Tommaso Ciampa came out at the end. Overall, really nice TakeOver. Not the best TakeOver, but a nice TakeOver. Then tonight we've got the um, Hall of Fame induction. Let me actually just quickly have a look. Hall of Fame. Oh, God, that is. Oh, that's nice, but oh, dear. Hall of Fame. Um, so we'll go through the inductees, and some of the inductors have been announced. For the individual was only three individuals being right, going in, but Honky Tonk Man. Is being inducted by Jimmy Hart. Tory Wilson is yet to be announced who's being um, inducted by. Don't know who could induct Tory Wilson. Brutus above Beefcake is being inducted by Hulk Hogan. D Generation X is yet to be announced by who's going uh, in the thing. Induction. I imagine. Um, try not to be how I heavily mentioned. As. Sean Michaels running it. Triple H is going in his own right. I think uh, Billy Gunn and Red Dog in there already. Might be, I'm not sure. X-Pac is in there, I know that. 
Oh, meet someone announced. Um, and the Heart Foundation has not been announced. The Warrior Award, Sue Hutchinson, is being sent by Dana Warrior, obviously. The Legacy Award says a number of these, but they don't have things. There's Jim Barnett, definitely. Buddy Rose, Shami Shinma, Joseph Cohen, Primo Canola, Professor Tulu Tanaka. Oh my lord. ST Jones, Luna Vachon, Wahoo McDaniel, and Bruiser Body. Well, I agree with a lot of them. Um, I think it's a great Hall of Fame Classic. I think it's going to be an amazing weekend for wrestling. This takeover was pretty good last night. I think WrestleMania, eh, some of the matches, I think. Please, for Christ's sake, replace Baron Corbin. Do it, WWE. Swervers. Absolutely swervers. I believe John Cena, quite frankly. Uh, but that's the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching this episode. My name is Trav, and I'll see you all next time. But till then, see ya.